So between the contest freestyle legend and visionary BMX artist Bob Haro displayed his art, talked about the early days, and how he helped in the filming of the movie E.T. Hey guys, welcome. It's me, Bob Haro, and welcome to the BMX Masters. Uh, tonight we got a fun little show, kind of old school, reuniting BMXers with the past of the BMX art that they grew up on and, uh, and I was lucky enough to do. Tonight we're going to kind of walk you through and show you a few of the pieces that I've done over the years. Welcome, I really hope you enjoy. So probably like a lot of riders out there that have ever crashed, you know when you mess up and you know I'm going to hit the ground. It seems like time goes really slow and you're like, I know this is going to hurt and when I'm going to hit, Everything is kind of exploding. I think that drawing kind of shows that emotion that, you know, you know you're going to eat it, but you got a moment to think about it. And on the grip, you can see he just went over, went over the bars, and now all of a sudden his grip came off, but he's still hanging onto the grip here. So he hasn't realized that he's not part of the bike anymore. In most of my cartoons, you kind of have to look closely and kind of see the, a little bit of the hidden details in, in the comic. And this shot, he happened to hit the family jewels, and I thought that uh, diamonds may be appropriate uh, little icon to show what happened there. But uh, So if you look at the cartoons, you kind of have to stop and look at each frame and see the little details that go into each and, and the kind of the little hidden story. Cartooning and illustration was a real personal part of my uh, BMX experience and hopefully it'll inspire other artists out there since I uh, haven't really seen anything to date so hope you enjoyed this evening thanks to the guys uh, Robert and Stefan and the BMX Masters for inviting me and to share this with you thank you very much